Hello friends, in today's video lab, we are going to see how to configure storage space in Windows Server 2016. Storage space is a storage virtualization technology developed by Microsoft and introduced with Windows Server 2012. It allows to create and manage logical volumes running on a pool of physical disks. Storage space supports redundancy and offers greater flexibility compared to a RAID setup. Furthermore, creating a storage space is really quick and easy. So to create a storage space on Windows Server 2016, you have to log on to your server using an account with administrator privilege. And then open a server manager. On a server manager console, click on a file and storage services. Now click on storage pools. On storage pools console, click on a task and select new storage pool. A configuration wizard will appear. Click on next on the before you begin dialog. Now here you have to specify the name of your storage pool. So let's specify the name storage pool 1 and then click on next. Now select the available physical disk. So in our case we have a 3 virtual disk available on my virtual machine. So select all 3 of this disk and click on next. Now review the settings and then click on create on the confirmation dialog box. So here this is the our server lab dc01 not clustered and Windows storage. The name of our storage pool is storage pool 1 and the total capacity of storage pool is 300 GB. Click on create to create a storage pool. Okay, now we have successfully created the storage pool name storage pool 1 on our DC01. Click on close to close this console. Now in the next step, let's create a virtual disk in our storage pool 1. Now we have a storage pool but we do not have any logical disk that runs on it. So let's create a virtual disk on our storage pool. So first of all you have to select your storage pool in our case that is storage pool 1 and then under virtual disk console click on task and select new virtual disk. New virtual disk wizard pops up click on next on before you begin page. Now on this console you have to select your storage pool. Right now we have only one storage pool and that's why we have to select storage pool 1. Then click on next. And here you have to specify the name of your virtual disk. And for this demonstration, I'm going to specify the name VDisk1. You can also specify the description of this virtual disk. Let's click on next. On this console, just uh, click on next because right now we are not going to discuss enable and close awareness. In a future videos, we'll see how we can enable and close awareness. Click on next. Now here you have to select the storage layout. Here I will select this simple storage layout and then click on next. In a simple virtual disk, data is stripped across physical disk and does not provide fault tolerance. Now here we have to select the provisioning type and I will choose thin provisioning because thin provisioning is more efficient and more economic. So let's select thin and then click on next. Now here we have to specify the size of our virtual disk. Let's specify the size 25 gig and then click on next. Now here review the settings and then click on create to create the virtual disk. Ok now view the result and check the options create a volume when this wizard close and now let's close this wizard. Ok so right now we have a storage pool named storage pool 1 and under storage pool 1 we have a one virtual disk named vdisk1 of size of 25 gig. And now let's create a new volume under our VDisk1. So select the virtual disk, right click on our VDisk1 and select new volume. Click on next on before you begin wizard. On select the server and a disk. We have our one server named labdisk01 and let's select our disk4 that is our virtual disk and then click on next. Now here we have to specify the size of our volume. For this demonstration purpose, I'm going to specify the 10 GB and then click on next. Now here you can assign a drive letter or if you want to mount in any empty NTFS folder you can select over here. Now for this demonstration I'm going to specify the drive letter K and then click on next. Now here you can select the file system settings. As you can see in Windows Server 2016 the default file system selection is REFS. Now click on next. And now review the configuration and then click on create to create a new volume on our VDisk1. Ok and that's it. Click on close to close this console. Now let's open a file explorer. Click on this PC. 
and here you can see we have a new partition name new volume we have a drive letter k and as you can see the size is a 10 gb so now finally you are ready to use your storage pool in this way you can configure a storage space in windows server 2016 that's it for this video lab thanks for watching this video